Hi, my name is Amanda D, and welcome to this tutorial on Pinchamayarasana variations, or you can also call it funky forearm stand. We're going to start by just um, opening the shoulders. So as you can see here, I've got two blocks about shoulder distance apart, no wider. I'm going to place my elbows on top of the blocks. I'm lifting my lower belly and lengthening my tail down, so I'm not going to an anterior tilt of the pelvis. It's more of a posterior tilt. You want to lift through the lower ribs as well. The palms will be together, and then just walk your knees back, keeping that lift through the lower belly, keeping that lift through the lower ribs, and this will start to stretch, stretch the lats, the latissimus dorsi muscles. To increase this stretch, you can bring your hands to closer towards your shoulder blades to stretch the triceps. And then just stay there for a few breaths. You can see my hips are over my knees. Breathing in and out through the nose. To come out of it, just walk your knees forward and move your blocks to the side. Now here's a little drill that I do for actual Pinchamayarasana and for this funky forearm stand variation. First of all, come into plank and then lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. You want to protract your shoulder blades, which means separating your shoulder blades. You also want to externally rotate the shoulders so the biceps will turn forward, keeping the palms grounded. Now as you bend the right elbow back, squeeze the elbow to the midline and lift a tap. So you don't want the elbow to wing out to the side. You want to keep it hugging into the midline and then try the other elbow. Now you you can keep doing this until this becomes easy. Once it is possible for you to do them both at the same time, you can lower the elbow, squeezing the elbows in, and lifting the elbows up. When the elbows land, you want them to land softly, and you want your forearms to be parallel to one another, so your elbows aren't widening. So you're squeezing the elbows in as you lower. You can do this up to 10 times. Um, I usually do about three sets a day. And this will strengthen the serratus anterior muscle underneath your armpits, which is required for all arm balances. This will help to upward rotate the shoulder blade and make the shoulders really stable and strong. So now I'm doing the same thing with my right elbow. I'm lowering it down so that the forearm is parallel to the side edge of your mat and that the elbow is underneath the shoulder. Now I want to push the floor away this will help to up, upward rotate the shoulder blade, creating space in the shoulder and stability. So you see, here I am pushing the floor away. Don't let yourself sink and keep the shoulder behind the plumb line of the elbow. Now your left hand is in line with the elbow. It's further back and the elbow is bent. Then you have to look forward and lift that top leg up as high as you can so that the lower leg can lift. Keep squeezing the lower leg towards the belly. I find if you lift both the legs up, it's easy to fall backwards. This way you keep the weight towards the floor, um, not behind you. Okay, I'll just show you that on the other side. So again, now you'll lower down the left elbow to the floor so it's underneath the shoulder. The forearm is parallel to the side edge of your mat and then your right hand slides back in line with your elbow. You can see that. My right hand isn't in line with my left hand, it's in line with my elbow. Lift your lower belly, lift the lower ribs, and then press the floor away. Upward rotate the shoulder blades. Walk your feet in as far as you can, trying to get your hips over the plumb line of your left shoulder. And then lifting that right leg up as high as you can, reach, reach, reach. And then eventually that right foot will come, the, sorry, the left foot will come off the floor. Okay. I uh, hope you have a lot of success with this. Um, I like to stretch my wrists afterwards just to release. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.